Hello, Dr. Kerr. This is Su Yao Huang. In this video, I would like to answer the following questions. The first one is, what did you learn about yourself in this term? So, in this term, I did learn a lot from both work and school. First of all, having good time management skills is always my goal. And in this semester, quite often, I was facing challenges to manage my time effectively. As a full-time worker and student, it is my responsibility to finish all my work and assignments on time. So I have learned how to prioritize the things I have to do and list all the tasks down to my calendar. Therefore, I can start doing things earlier and have a better work-life balance. Also, this semester, um, the leadership and organizational communication courses helped me to improve my communication skills with my coworkers. So when I had an argument or conflict with my coworkers, I know how to address the issues more better and communicate with them more effectively. So this is my answer to the first question. Overall, I think the courses I took in this term were both pretty helpful for me to work and collaborate with others. And so move on to the second question, which is, what is your preferred style of leadership and how did it help you solve professional challenges? And please provide three examples. So uh, basically, I think there are two leadership theories I consider will be helpful for me to be an effective leader in my current organization. The one is, uh, transformational leadership. The other one is the contingency theory of leadership. So I believe by applying these two leadership theories to my leadership role, I can better solve the challenges I have in the workplace and achieve goals and better outcomes. So for your information, I'm currently working as an occupational therapist in the healthcare organization. Having a good knowledge of the staff skills and expertise is crucial for leading an interdisciplinary team effectively so, so that the work can be distributed evenly among the team members and then their skills are able to complement each other. An interdisciplinary team is made out of the individuals from different backgrounds and professions. So shared decision making and open communication are key to achieving the team goals and making the team um, succeed. So in transformational leadership, the leader identifies the group's strengths and lead the group toward positive changes by motivating and inspiring the team members. And also the transformational leadership promotes creativity and growth in both individuals and organizations. Therefore, I think by applying transformational leadership approach, I can create a collaborating environment in which team members are encouraged to express their thoughts and ideas. I could also work with my team members to discuss and establish goals together and help them improve their skills and achieve desired outcomes with support. And as a result, I consider the transformational leadership approach is effective to apply to my leadership role so I can improve patient health outcomes by reducing the duplication of care and improving interprofessional team performance. And in terms of contingency theory of leadership, it is a leadership approach that focuses on becoming a productive productive leader uh, under different circumstances. So several variables exist at the workplace and leadership should be tailored to the task, situation, and the people involved. So by applying a contingency approach to manage an interdisciplinary team, I can better coordinate with other healthcare providers, including physicians, nurses, and social workers so I can avoid miscommunications and conflicts at work. As a result, 
all professions can achieve desired outcomes and maintain relationships effectively. Overall, these are my answers to the questions. Thank you.